हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर ए एस अय्यर आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द कोर्स ऑन फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ वन डायमेंशनल बार एलिमेंट इन एक्स वाई कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टीम सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिराइव द नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ बार एलिमेंट इन एक्स वाई कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टीम so to derive this natural coordinates if you consider one two noded bar element as shown in figure there are two nodes node number 1 and node number 2 so it is also called as line element or bar element now cartesian coordinates of node number 1 and node number 2 are x1 and x2 cartesian coordinate of node number 1 is x1 and cartesian coordinate of node number 2 is x2 of course these coordinates are with reference to this origin o here is the origin assumed it means this distance is x1 and from this origin this distance is x2 distance of node number 2 this total distance is x2 and this distance is x1 those are the cartesian coordinates of node number 1 and node number 2 then if you select any point p on this bar element its cartesian coordinate is assumed as x okay it means this distance is x distance of point p from origin o is x right so this distance is x this distance is x1 and from origin to node number 2 this distance is x2 okay now if you see this x1 x2 and x so l is a length of bar element L is a length of bar element. So if this distance is x1 and this distance is x2, what is the value of span or length of the bar in terms of x1 x2? L is equal to x2 minus x1. This is value of L. So if you remove this portion from total x2, that is x2 minus x1, you will get length of the bar so l is equal to x2 minus x1 please understand now natural coordinates so when you represent natural coordinate in the form of l1 l2 l3 like this total number of natural coordinates are equal to total number of nodes so if there are two nodes in the bar element total natural coordinates are equal to l1 and l2 2 Okay, now we have to find out values of this L1 and L2. That is nothing but natural coordinates of any point P whose Cartesian coordinate is x. Okay, if you want, you can find out these distances. Distance of point P from the left node one, it is x minus x1, and from this distance, point P to node number two, it is x2 minus x. Okay, it's simple geometry. Now our question is to find out what is L1 and L2. To find out this L1 and L2, now since there are two unknowns, we have to develop the two equations, right? To find out L1 and L2, two unknowns, we have to develop the two equations. So very first equation is L1 plus L2 is equal to one, which means the sum of natural coordinate is always equal to unity. sum of natural coordinates is always equal to unity so if it is l1 l2 for bar element l1 plus l2 equal to 1 if you are writing this for a triangular element there are three nodes so three natural coordinates are there l1 l2 l3 so in case of triangular element you can write down l1 plus l2 plus l3 equal to 1 if you are writing for rectangular element it will be l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 equal to 1 like this total number of natural coordinates are equal to total number of nodes when you are representing in terms of l1 l2 l3 okay so very first equation is l1 plus l2 is equal to 1 which is using the property of natural coordinate that is sum of natural coordinate is always equal to unity right now second equation second equation is equal to l1 x1 plus l2 x2 is equal to x what is this equation this equation stands for the sum of sum of means this addition sum of product of this is product well, product of what l1 and x1 means 
product of natural coordinate and cartesian coordinate so it is sum of product of natural coordinate and cartesian coordinates of all nodes so l1 x1 plus l2 x2 plus l3 x3 if it is triangle plus l4 x4 if it is rectangle so sum of product of natural coordinate and cartesian coordinates of all nodes is equal to what it is equal to cartesian coordinate of any point p that is x in previous figure it is shown this is cartesian coordinate of p this cartesian coordinate p x is equal to this x1 into l1 plus l2 into x2 this is the second equation okay so like this you have to develop the two equations this is equation number one and equation number two okay now same two equations if you write down in matrix form you will get this vector l1 l2 then matrix of coefficient here it is 1 1 then x1 x2 so it is a coefficient matrix and this is right hand side vector that is 1 and x so the same two equations are written in matrix form now since we have to find out l1 and l2 take this matrix coefficient matrix on right hand side there will be inverse of that matrix okay now to find out this l1 l2 we have to find out inverse of this matrix inverse of this matrix is determined here by using method of adjoint so method of adjoint means if matrix A is there, its inverse is equal to 1 upon its determinant into matrix adjoint, right, like this. So all of you know that how to find out inverse by using adjoint method. So determinant is equal to 1 into x2 minus 1 into x1. So it is x2 minus x1 1 upon determinant so this is determinant of this matrix above matrix okay now adjoint matrix adjoint matrix is equal to what it is a transpose of cofactor matrix it is transpose of cofactor matrix so we have to find out cofactor of each element first so cofactor of this one cofactor of cofactor of this one is equal to leave that row and column where this element is occurring remaining term is called as cofactor x2 okay similarly you have to find out cofactor of other element if you find out cofactor of this element 1 right it becomes minus x1 now since we are writing here at join it is a transpose of cofactor so cofactors of, of this first row become first column here and cofactors of second row become second column here okay so by using method of adjoint the inverse of this matrix is determined okay so this is completely inverse into this vector is as it is right so now simply if you multiply this matrix 2 by 2 matrix with the column vector right multiplication of these two matrices so x2 into 1 minus 1 into x so it is x2 minus x okay similarly minus x1 into 1 plus 1 into x it is x minus x1 so multiplication of these two matrices is this column vector and since we know in the last uh, previous slide we had seen the span of this bar element is equal to l is equal to x2 minus x1 right l is equal to x2 minus x1 so this x2 minus x1 is replaced by l here okay so now finally what is value of l1 is equal to then l1 is equal to x2 minus x upon l and l2 is equal to x minus x1 upon l so these are the two values of natural coordinates okay l1 is equal to x2 minus x upon l and l2 equal to x minus x1 upon l okay where l1 and l2 are natural coordinates now if you consider the same bar element now point p is here somewhere okay its natural coordinates are l1 l2 right its natural coordinates are l1 l2 this is no number one and this is no number two now if you shift this point p at no number one if you shift point p at no number one so here it becomes l1 and l2 right now at no number one what are the values of this l1 l2 so at no number one means here cartesian coordinate is x 
so when you shift this point p at node number 1 whose cartesian coordinate is x1 actually so when you shift this point p on node number 1 this x becomes x1 so if you put that x becomes x1 here for node number 1 for node number 1 if you put x becomes x1 so this x1 minus x1 this l2 is equal to 0 l2 equal to 0 and x2 minus this x1 x2 minus x1 is equal to l and this ll will get cancelled its answer is 1 it means when you shift point p at node number 1 l1 is equal to 1 and l2 is equal to 0 similarly when you shift this point p on node number 2 this x becomes x2 this x becomes x2 so if you put that x equal to x2 here x is equal to x2 so this x2 minus x2 is equal to 0 and x2 minus x1 is equal to l so l upon l it is equal to 1 it means when at node number 2 l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 1 okay so these are the values of natural coordinates so finally we can conclude that at node number 1 natural coordinates are 1 0 l1 means l1 and l2 is 0 and at node number 2 natural coordinates are 0 1 okay which represent that at each node total value of natural coordinate is always 1 here it is 1 here also it is 1 only here l2 is equal to 0 and here l1 is equal to 0 it means out of l1 l2 l3 only one natural coordinate will be of value 1 remaining 2 are 0 at particular node okay so these are the values of natural coordinates in xy coordinate system so this is x right and x1 x2 are the cartesian coordinates of node okay please understand when you are representing natural coordinates by using l1 l2 notations the total number of natural coordinates are equal to total number of nodes in that element. So here, since it is a bar element, there are two nodes and that's why natural coordinates are 2, L1, L2. There is another way of representing the natural coordinate that is Zaita coordinate system. So in the next class, we will see if you want to represent the natural coordinates of bar element instead of L1, L2 by using Zeta coordinate system, what are the values of Xi and eta? Okay. So in the next class, we will see that derivation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.